paranormal just got haunted. Where are you? We've had stuff going on. away in the remote hills of North Wales, Riddamwyn Valley Works is a place shrouded in secrecy and shadow. During World War II, this seemingly innocent countryside became the site of one of Britain's most covert operations. The facility was responsible for the production and storage of deadly chemical weapons, including mustard gas, and was later involved in early nuclear research laying the groundwork for the atomic bomb. For decades, its underground tunnels and factory buildings have been hidden from the public, silent witnesses to a dark and dangerous history. But with such a tragic and secretive past, has something otherworldly been left behind? Locals speak of strange lights flickering deep within the long abandoned tunnels of phantom footsteps echoing through empty corridors, and of unsettling voices whispering in the wind. Some claim to have seen shadowy figures wandering the grounds, believed to be the spirits of workers who never left. As we step into this decaying industrial labyrinth, we're not just walking into a former chemical weapons factory, we're entering a place steeped in fear, danger, and the unknown. Tonight, we'll explore the possibility that the energy from its dark past has awakened something more. Will the spirits of Riddenwyn reveal themselves? Or will they remain hidden, just like the deadly secrets that this place once kept locked away? Before the cameras were fully rolling, strange things had already started happening. From unexpected noises to odd sensations, it was clear that something was stirring in Riddenwyn Valley Works. The paranormal activity began even before we officially started our investigation. This Can you speak to us? Can you say your name? I heard that. I heard that. What was that? It was somebody saying, is it a name or a something? Name? It, was it must have been a name. Speaking, wasn't it? Yeah. Was it female or male, you said? Female. I thought it was female, that's why I said female. Yeah. Hello, but we picked that. You are. Okay. Can you can you say your name again? Are you female? Can you say one of our names? Who? Man. Man, male, over that way. What did you say? It was like, um, like a, uh, we don't know. It was an audible error. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So obviously trying to pronounce yeah, to it. say something. Well, the first voice I heard was male. Male. Yeah. yeah, male. I heard yeah. female just before, and then male be when we were at the car. Should, should, is that building there? Did we go in there to wreck it out? Uh, yeah, I think so. What's in it? I think. <laughs> should we just nip over to it now? I think. Yeah. I think. That's where the voice was coming from. At this one, that yeah, one? this one over here, this one on camera here. Okay. Just here. Well, we can get to it by a path, I think. I don't know if you don't want to get soaked, do you, walking through that long grass? Let's have a quick look. No, don't you? Well, we can get on the other side. Oh, it's all wet you, inside. You go oh, around it's soaked inside. Soaked full. Yeah. Let's see what. Oh my lord, I did hear something come from it though. Like a cha ching though. Anything there, Paul? Could have been a dripping. 
Nothing's there. Could have been dripping because it's wet, isn't it? The ceiling's obviously leaking. But it, it was more, it was more metallic. Yeah, yeah. Very echoey, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is going to lead for a fantastic investigation. It's a good start. Isn't good it? start, yeah. And just to prove a point, it's daylight, so it shows that day or night paranormal activity happens. It exists, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we've already got voices and we're not even started yet, so I think if that's a taste of things to come, we're in for a good day. And it could be connected yeah. to the war, yeah. it could be, it could be, and it was a munition store. This is it, this is munitions, there's no way on God's green earth there hasn't been accidents here. Exactly, you exactly. Know? And with munitions, if there's an explosion, somebody's nearby, they're going to, they're going to die, they're yeah. going to lose a limb or something, so. Yeah. There's definitely going to be something here. And we've also, just at the back there, I don't know if you can see the, the railings down mm. there, that's, uh, that's water and that, that's flowing. Flowing right behind. Flowing that's right, right round, there. yeah. Is so that obviously that's bringing the energy, that bring, yeah. bring the energy. energy as well, yeah. yeah. So. Oh. Let's do it. Let's go back to the car then, get some equipment yeah. and, and start it off. Yeah. Cool. With Riddenwin Valley Works covering such a vast area, we decided to split into two teams to maximise our chances of capturing evidence. Paul and Jane would investigate one section of the site, while Sean and I focused on another. To see if different approaches might reveal more, Paul and Jane opted to film in full colour, while Sean and I switched to infrared night vision, allowing us to uncover anything hidden in the darkness. So we started in one of the uh, stalls, okay, because we could hear noises coming out. But because we're set, filming in the twilight and it's getting into the evening, we've decided we might mix money, and I think Paul wants to as well. I that was like someone's throwing us. That was something. And someone rustling over there. Yeah, there's no one out there. We started to film some in uh, uh, true colour, like you know, without the night vision, and some in night vision, so we get both ends of the spectrum. Well, sometimes when you do film it in, in, in on these cameras in IR, you miss things, and because we are just approaching night time, we wanted to film in true colour because sometimes you don't miss things, obviously, in true colour, do you? You can see some things a little bit better because our eyes are used to it. Um, and I just, I, we just thought it might mix the show up a little bit more. We like to give you guys, you know, a, a whole load of different experiences. And we're hoping it's going to look good. So we've already had some noises just as we were talking over here. On the floor over here, we've got a device set up which is a bit like a REM pod. And if anything comes near this, It'll alert, it'll set off, it'll make a noise. And what we're going to start to do first is call out and see if anybody's connected because we've heard things. We can hear things walking in different places and we've already captured some phenomena already in the daylight. So if anything's going to show itself, hopefully it's intrigued to know what we're doing. Mm. And you know, when, when you come into this place, it's a weird feeling instantly. It's a feeling of calm but then at the pit of your stomach, it's a feeling of dread. And I don't know why I get that. There's a lot of talk. I mean, we got out of the car and we got the equipment out and there was talking already. And in this building, this is why we chose this, because things already, we can hear things drip, like being thrown and rattling. There's rustling. drips in here as well, off the mm, ceiling. There is dripping. Um, but I've just heard somebody say, shh. Yeah. Is that anybody here with us now? Can you come close? Use your energy. Communicate with us. My name's Sean. I'm Bex. We're paranormal investigators. We're interested to know if you worked here. We'd like to know your story. We're not here to harm you. We just want to gather a little bit more information about you guys. Um, now, I started speaking before outside and you interacted with me. Is it because you maybe interacted me, with me another time as well? 
Can you give me an answer? Do you know me? As I was filming B-roll for the show, alone in one of the darker corners of the site, something strange began to unfold. The atmosphere shifted, an unsettling presence seemed to fill the room. Okay, so I came into here, and I swear to God, as I was doing B-roll, so I came in the door, and I came in and did that shot, I heard somebody say my name. And it was like, it wasn't Bex, it was Rebecca. It was like they knew me, who, who I was. So I just thought, I've got the phone in my hand, why not do a little calling out while I'm here? Hello? Are you here? Let's show you. Is there anybody here? You said my name. How did you know I was called Rebecca? Is your name Tom? So I've been walking around this place and it's massive and all in it, the only name that's been come round and round and round my head is Tom. Thomas. Is your name? Thomas, not Tom. Thomas. There was a noise. There was a noise when I said Tom. Thomas. It's like a footstep. Come closer to me. Don't be afraid. Here's my hand, touch it. As I stood there, I called out for a name and the name Thomas came to mind. Almost immediately after, the unmistakable sound of footsteps echoed through the room. Clear, deliberate. All on it, the only name that's been come round and round and round my head is Tom, Thomas. Is your name? Thomas, not Tom, Thomas. Was Thomas trying to communicate with me? Could he be connected to the location and its shadowy past? Whatever the answer, something or someone was responding to my call. Tom? Thomas? Take it you don't like being called Tom. It's Thomas. And is that why you call re me Rebecca? You don't like to shorten people's names. It feels like somebody's pushing my hand down. You pushing my hand down, Tom? Sounds like somebody was coming in then. Sounds like somebody was walking in. Tom, I'm going to carry on doing my uh, my job. Jo Footsteps. Footsteps. Would you like to come with me, Tom? While I'm here. I think he's intrigued. I'm thinking, why are they taking video? Anyway, I thought I'd, um, I thought I'd document it because, why not? So far, the investigation has already begun to stir up activity, with strange sounds and eerie footsteps making their presence known. But as we continue to explore the depths of Riddimwin Valley Works, what else will we uncover? Something right is on the floor, you don't touch the aerials or make a noise, they won't harm you. There's one there to my right on the floor, there's one in the centre, and there's one. Thank you. This one over here, thank you. Um, so we're in one of the old munition buildings. And this is a, a huge one and you can probably hear the echo. The REMs are in bags because the floors are absolutely filthy. Thank you. So we've, uh, we've literally just started. It's daylight. But uh, you can have activity going on day or night. So we're hoping that... Oh, what was that noise? I don't know. No, I'm talking. So we're hoping that uh, we're going to get just as much activity during the day as we would at night. So we've split up, we're in two groups. And Sean and Bex and myself and Jane. 
Um, we've already had a little bit of activity. We've heard voices. Don't know who they belong to. We've heard a man and a woman. But this place is, there's nobody here, it's just us. So uh, we're going to do a bit of calling out. Same old thing because we're not we've not been here before. We don't know what are natural sounds and what aren't. The device that you were touching before, there's two more of them out. Where, where have you put them? There's one up at the the very top, I think. Where's the other one, Joe? There's one in the middle there. Oh yeah, we've got one in the middle. And there's one over here. So there's three out. If you want to go and touch any of them, I'm just going to venture a bit further up. If you want to touch any of them, they'll do as that one did. They'll light up and make a sound. And that's just going to let us know that you're here with us. So, could you do that for us, please? Can you set one of the devices off again? I don't know. We want to... Yeah, like yeah. Do you know what? Let's leave this equipment here and just poke our heads around there because we're in one room and this place is sighted massive. There's loads of rooms. And we're just, if that goes off, yeah. it's so echoey, we're going to capture that because it'll be like, There's rustling again in here. Is it, let's do like a walk down this corridor. Okay. okay. If there's anybody with us, here now. Shh. Hear that? Shh. Yeah. Shh. Why do we have to be quiet? Keys. This noise is, yeah. I just want to see if we can ping it. Oh! Something oh. touched me. I think it might have been a drip. Yeah, it was just a, it's drip, a drip. drip. Yeah, drip. Are you with us? Did you work here? Did you enjoy working here? Or did something happen? Okay, now I've got an idea. Let's it go quiet, okay? Let's see if anything happens. We'll call out. Our names go, hello. I'm Sean. I'm Bex. Can you say hi and see the echoes back? Okay. She's laughing at me. Hello, I'm Bex. She likes the way I say things. Okay. Hello, I'm Sean. I'm Bex. <laughs> I'm Bex. Hello. Stop it. Hello. Do you hear that as soon as we said our name? As we called out to the spirits in the room and introduced ourselves, we weren't prepared for what came next. A clear voice responded with a simple, hello, an undeniable sign that something intelligent was present and actively communicating with us. Hello, I'm Sean. I'm Bex. <laughs> I'm Bex. Hello. Stop it. Hello! Do you hear that as soon as we said our name? Could this be the voice of Thomas? And if so, what was he trying to tell us? We're hearing lots of different sounds, but because we haven't been here before, we don't know what's natural and what's not. So we're, we're hoping for something that's obviously not natural. If you, you can see just above that doorway and along that wall, there's A, B, C, D. No idea what that's for, and we've got A, B, C, D again over that one. Can you tell us? Can you make a noise? Could you tell us what the A, B, C, D means over the doors, over the the walls? On the walls, over the walls, in the walls. Mm. 
Did you work here when it was a munitions dump? There's a device right in front of me now on this piece of wood. Works just the same as the one in that doorway. Can you touch that metal stick? My name's Paul. Okay. I'd just like to try and hear your story. What did you do in these buildings? Ooh, a big raindrop on the edge. There's so many noises that it's hard to tell. As Paul and Jane attempted to communicate with the spirit, they asked for a clear, undeniable sign. Moments later, they appeared to capture a ghostly voice on camera, faint but unmistakable. Can you do that for us? I don't know, there's, there's so many noises that it's hard to tell. Could this be the beginning of something more? Perhaps words forming from an entity desperately trying to make contact, breaking through the veil to communicate with us. Hello. It's almost like they haven't spoken for a very, very long time. And they're just using the voices again. And that's why we're getting all these little... Footsteps, footsteps. Come here. Very drippy. Yeah, very. Yeah. Every time we walk into a room, I think that these are lights. Jesus! Did you hear that bit? That came from over there. Was it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was over in the corner. I thought it was there. No, no, it was in the corner. Now this is solid. This ceiling is solid, so there's nothing that could have fell. Because if it did, that would be a chunk of stuff yeah. that fell. I've just paused. Just pause the camera by mistake. That would have been a chunk of stuff that fell down here. That was mad. Can you do something that's going to be so obvious that it's you? There's some corrugated iron sheets here, some metal sheets. Could you perhaps knock on one of those, bang on that? That's going to be very obvious that it's not natural if you could do that. Can you whistle? Can you copy me? Can you go and get uh, the others? Bear with us a second, folks. I'll just go and get another piece of equipment. Can you show yourself or use your voice again or maybe move an object like you just did? 
Hello? Are you here with us now? Can you give us a sign? Tell us your name? No way. What did you hear then? Right in here, it was like a... The activity around us was intensifying and it was clear, we were not alone. I decided to ask the entity directly for its name, hoping for a clear response. Moments later, we captured something chilling on camera. Can you give us a sign? Tell us your name? No way. What did you hear then? Right in here, it's like a... The voice was faint but unmistakably eerie. We couldn't discern what it said, but one thing was certain. It wasn't human. This was something paranormal, something beyond the ordinary, making its presence known. I've got another app that we've developed. Yeah, it's just on. Spirit Seeker. Okay, it's available um, on the Android stuff that we do. We don't put it on Apple yet, but it's on Android. And it's Spirit Seeker, okay? Do you hear that? It was in that room. It was. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, this will work a bit like spirit chatter. I think I've just turned it on. Is anybody with us? Can you come close? I think you said that and somebody went, yeah. Can you talk to us? We have a device here. If you come close to us, it measures electronic frequencies. What are we reading now? Let's have a look. So our baseline in this particular room is 49, okay? So if anything fluctuates above that, we're gonna start connecting to the spirit world potentially. Were you based here? Did you work here as a soldier? Employee? Joyce. Joyce. Wow, okay. Could that be Joyce, the female that we heard? Oh, that's right. Makes sense. Does, doesn't it? Joyce, did you talk to try and talk to us outside? Can you communicate via our 2005? 2005. So a, she's given us a date, 2005. So is Joyce giving us information about 2005? Maybe she passed. Mm, we'll have maybe, to check that. Maybe if there was a Joyce connected, or was he, or was her number oh, yeah. 2005? So I've got a device in my hand now, which you might put me, it's just said me. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's all about you today. Can you tell us your name? Well, that's a good start. Mm. So, you've said it's you. Is it you that's in here and can you tell us what your name is or tell us what your job was? A very quick start, isn't it? I'm going to move around a little bit, see if uh, I can... I don't know, I heard that. That was a bit more... That sounded... Yeah, that sounded more like it was something not so natural. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that. Did you do something else? Mm -hmm. oh. That was uh, 
Thank you. Thank you for that. Did you just bang for us? I think you got the gist of how this works pretty quickly, but there's thousands of words in this device. If you can use your energy to manipulate this, find some words that are relevant to who you are, why you're here. Try and manipulate this box to talk to us. Yeah, I thought that before. I thought, uh, I bet at night this place is, takes on a completely horrifying kind of feel to it. It feels eerie now, doesn't it? Joyce, should we walk back to the main room? Can you interfere with any of the technology we've got in there? What do you think? Yeah. Sorted. Okay, let's go down. Well, it is so much happening. I'm going to go through this because it's dry. Okay, I was going to cut through there, but there's a big bush there. Ooh, spider web, cobweb thing on my face. Yeah. I mean, some people believe that to be spirit. Mm. Others say it's a spider web. Mm. Don't know, but we're getting responses on the device. Almost. Don't want to go that way. This way. From. from. You've got the word from. Oh. Dust. Dusk. And it is dusk. Yeah. How oh, crazy is that? I'm going to leave that in my pocket just so we'll hear that if it goes off. Can you do another big thing in here? Can you come to this meter that's on the floor over here? Interact with it. Joyce, we know that this could be a female. Maybe number was 2005 or something significant happened in 2005. But if you've got energy, what? If it just went in your mouth. If you've got energy. If you've got energy, go towards the device. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Look down there. Second light across of doorway. This one here that you can see on camera. Something just moved across there. Shadow figure, babe, shadow figure. Are you here with us now? Are you Joyce? Told you, didn't I? Right behind us? Yeah, did you hear that? But doofed. See if the energy changes. Oh, finger. Happy. Happy. Hang on, finger. Heavy and window, older. Oh, wow. It's got very chatty since we got in this in area. You reside in this area. It's your favourite area in the building. Oh, wow. What was that? I don't know. That didn't sound natural. So you've come out with a few words there, you've come out with finger, heavy, window and older. So if it was, yeah that's what I was thinking. Did you trap your finger perhaps or lose it while you were uh, dealing with ammunition? It said, did it say heavy? It said heavy. It could be a heavy object that he's lost his yeah. fingers. Yeah, if it's uh, 
maybe got it trapped or something. All speculation, folks. So we actually get something. Yeah. Just heard a very strange that noise. Paul had just received a series of words. Finger, heavy, window, and older. Intrigued, Paul speculated that perhaps the spirit had injured its finger. Moments later, the camera picked up something even more eerie. A ghostly voice that, on replay, sounds like it's saying, you know, I know. Yeah, if it's uh, maybe got it trapped or something. All speculation, folks. So we actually get something. Could this be the entity confirming Paul's speculation, acknowledging the injury he described? The response was unsettling, suggesting intelligent communication with the unseen. Yeah, I don't know what it said, but clear as anything. When I say clear, when I say clear as anything, I didn't, I heard a voice. I couldn't hear what it said, but it was clearly a voice. <laughs> it's like it's, uh, yeah, it's drawing us away, isn't it? Right, do we go over there now? Because that's where we just heard another noise. Is that where you want us? I'll go over there. Okay. Let me see if anything happens here. So I'm going to stay here. So I'm going to go up where we just heard that last. Wow. Just came out with the word healer. Healer. And heat. Now, I could, could just be getting this wrong, but injured finger. Heat. If something's exploded and he's injured a finger or something. Yeah. So, as I say, speculation. List. Halo and noise. News. It's really chatty up here. Loads of stuff. Halo, noise, news. Loads of stuff coming out on it. Like somebody picked a leg, mm. some heavy up and through it, which is exactly what happened before in the other room. Mm. Top banging on the ceiling. And it's solid, man. Yeah. She can hear them. Yeah. You can hear them walking, babe. Gooey. Soldiers ready! Quick march! Like, Soldier's um, feet, that was that way. Yeah. Should we do it one more time? Mm -hmm. Soldiers ready, quick, march! That was... You do it, because he might interact differently. Maybe Joyce. Yeah, there wouldn't have been a, a woman saying it, would there? Could have been. Could have been a female. Yeah, Just try it. Yeah. Go on. Say it, babe. Say soldiers ready, quick march. Can you give us a date into our cameras when you died or on our, on our machinery? We're intrigued to know all things about you. Looks like a mist on my camera. Yeah, well, I got that before. I thought it was yeah, just my what camera. Is that? Right in the corridor. Yeah, it's proper weird, that bit. It's definitely Is that it's you? Are you trying to 
We're going to have to go to another area. This, this site is vast. There are so many buildings in this place and we've got so much to cover. So I would drift. Yeah, we're going to be drifting around. Little and wrench. Children. Chest. See, it just it seems to get really chatty in some places. Yeah, we'll look at it. So, what we're trying to do is find the most active area because we're going to come back and do the Estes method in a little while. So, I would rate this one 5 out of 10. Yeah. So, we'll compare notes in a bit and see what, um, what we think as to whether this writing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you can write, yeah. Um, yeah, see if this is going to be worth coming back to. Wow. Why was that? I don't, that sounded like a metallic something. Well, the metallic's here. We've got these shoes, isn't it? Yeah, very true. So we're going to uh, we're going to go to another area now, and uh, we'll see if we're going to end up back in this one, this place, in a little while. So, see you in a few.